jury has found the defendant Harold Mann guilty of domestic violence, assault, and first degree murder. Case closed. No, I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. It was useless. They would never believe me. My old man wrecked my childhood. It all started when he came home from Iraq to us. The time he had served had wrecked his nerves in his left shoulder. The morphine eased the pain and the grass grew around his brain and gave him all the confidence he lacked. With a purple heart and a monkey on his back, he had a hole in his arm where all the money went. Our school shoes, Christmas presents, summer camp, bicycles, all down the hole. My old man's welcome didn't last too long. He went to work when he spent our last dime, and he went to stealing when his VA check shot. Heck, he had a $200 a day street habit, plus VA meds. Whenever his PO came for a home visit, I had to piss in the balloon for him. I'd elbow him up out of his nod when she called his name. PO's eyes filled with disgust, mine filled with shame. It was the morning of what was going to be my first day of middle school, when I found my old man, dead. Sitting in his chair, needle still in his arm. His pant leg and floor was soaked with his piss, not mine. My whole life was stained with suffering, thanks to my old man. Until a few weeks ago, something changed that. My daughter, Clara, was born. My whole life was just a shadow, but Clara was the spark that brightened up my world. In all my life, I had never loved anything so much. It was my chance to give her what I didn't have. I couldn't give her Christmas. I was too poor for that. I couldn't give her the best clothes. But I could be the good father I never had, and I was going to be the best father there ever was, at all costs. However, her mother, Lisa Jenkins, had different priorities. She was in a world of glamour and parties. For Lisa, there was no such thing as a baby or bills. It was simply just makeup and jewelry. She would attain that at all costs. It was the hottest day of the year, and with our luck, the AC broke. That night, Lisa came home drunk, just like every other night. What the hell is wrong with you? What? Don't what me. I told you to fix the fucking AC. She's just going through something. I tried. Try harder. I can't freaking live like this. Can you please lower your voice? You gotta get a new AC system. I just can't afford to face up. Well, get another job. No, you just need to stop buying all the stuff that we don't need. And then we can afford a new AC. So what, you're saying it's all my fault? No. What, we need more baby clothes? I think she has enough. No. <laughs> I thought so. Clean up this mess. I was tired of her walking all over me. I couldn't bear it for one second longer. What? It is your fault. You see all these pills? It's because of you. You see all the sweat? It's because of you. You hear all that crying? It's because of you. I don't need your fucking BS right now. It's all gone anyways. You spent it all? So who cares? I do. You're just suffering, Lisa. We're suffering and you don't care. You just keep wasting my money. Your money? It's my money too. Oh sure, cause you work, right? Oh yeah, and you're also trying to pay all these bills, right? You just keep buying, drinking, and yelling. So anything that makes me happy is wrong, right? What should I do? Stop smiling? No, that's not the point. Then what is it, Harold? Because it's always about you and Clara. But has anyone ever asked me if I was happy? You just need to stop spending. You gotta do it for me. Do it for Clara. I never wanted a freaking baby. I never wanted any of this. You told me it could work, Harold. Well, look who is wrong. Because I'm living in a shithole with an asshole husband. <laughs>
I never wanted any of this! No! The neighbors called the cops, who quickly tracked me down. The juror quickly agreed that I was the bad guy. Not once did anyone think I was telling the truth. Not once did they think I or Clara suffered because of Lisa. Who could blame them? For my fingerprints were found all over Lisa. They thought I was trying to kidnap Clara, and they believed that they were saving her from a monster. I'm not upset that I'm falsely accused of these crimes. I'm not upset that I have to be in prison for the rest of my life. I'm not upset that society thinks I'm a monster. I'm only upset that Clara, Clara will live a worse life than me. Clara! Get him! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get away from her! She will be raised by strangers, thinking that she has an imprisoned beast of a father who murdered her mother. Clara will never know the true story, which is that her father wasn't a monster, simply, it was reversed.